出出什么词啊？嗯，什么吟诗出什么词啊？吟诗出高徒，吟诗出高徒啊？什么叫管教有方啊？还什么什么？啊，对嘛，就这种，就感觉，哇，英雄啊，还是哪哪哪哪哪哪哪不好，考也没考好，发现那什么做作业也做不好，就是废物一个啊，是老师真的是英雄啊。Hello, Mark. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Yes, how are you today, Mark? I'm not happy. You're all tired? I'm angry. Okay, that's good to know. Um, what did you do today, Mark? Um, mm. Yes, what did you do today, Mark? Stay at school and come back and eat uh, dinner. Uh, Okay. So here, Mark, can you see my screen? No. No? I can see clear. Ah, it's not clear. Okay. I'm going to send it in Ding Tok. Wait a minute. Did you see the picture? Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. So, um, we're going to continue our lesson in task 13. I want you to learn to read the learn this box text. Then you find two more question words in the dialogue. Okay, so let's learn question words. So when you say question words, those are words that ask a question. It starts with which? Why, when, where, how much, how many, or how often? So when it is WH question, just like who, why, when, where, and what, they include a preposition. Teacher, what is preposition? Those are in, on, at, by, under, below, behind, next to, okay, after, before. The preposition usually goes at the end. For example, what are you listening to? So what is the preposition in this question mark? Okay. In the example, what are you listening to? What is the preposition? Uh, why do you like? Well, okay, so this is two. That oh. is two. That is two. The preposition is two. Okay, so now I want you to read the dialogue, Sam and Anna. Can you please read? Hi, Anna. Did you, did you go, to, go out at night? Yes, I went to the cinema. Oh, really? Who did you go with? My sister. What did you see? The new gen for Clarissa's feet. Did you enjoy it? No, it wasn't great. And I couldn't, couldn't see a screen. King? It's scary. Can when we were the man in front in front of me was really tall, and he didn't stop 
talking to his girlfriend. I had that. And that was all. I lost my memory. I think I broke it in the cinema. Okay. Okay, so now, Mark, I want you to tell me the two questions that you can see in this dialogue. What are the two questions? Where did, where did Anna, where did Anna go last night? Okay, so this is where, ah, oh, wait a minute, where did Anna go last night? This one, did you go out last night? What is the question that you can see oh, here? Yes. No, it's, uh, oh yes. This one, did you go out last night? Yes. Okay, so this is, who did you go with? Okay, so when you say question, it starts with WH, question, oh. how, which, why, when, where, how much, many, or how often. So what else? Can you still see what? other um, questions? Very what? good. What did you see? Okay, so here, I want you to find a question with a preposition at the end. Okay, just like this one. What are you listening to? This is a question that have preposition to. We call it preposition. Okay, so what other question here that have preposition? Who did you go with? Okay, so what what question here that have preposition? Do you know preposition, Mark? No. Okay, so when you say preposition, wait a minute. <coughs> this is preposition. When you say preposition, these are example on, in, by, with, after, before, at, oh. what else next to, Always. behind, Thanks. and many other. Okay, so what? Question here that you can see a preposition at the end. Oh, who did you go to? Very good. What is the preposition here? With. Very good. This is who did you go with? Great job. So now, Mark, I want you to complete the yes or no question about your weekend. What is weekend? That is Saturday and Sunday. You can use the past simple interrogative form. What is interrogative form, Mark? This is? Do you know interrogative form? When you say interrogative form, this is a sentence or a question that is asking a question. Okay? It ends with a question mark interrogative. Okay, so you can use the past simple. Past simple that is already happened in the past. Okay. Then you complete the follow-up question using the question words. For example, did you watch TV? What did you watch? Okay. So, how about number two, Mark? What would be your answer? Went out on Friday or Saturday evening. Where? Where? Okay, wait a minute. What is your answer to number two? Oh, uh, went. When? 
Went no. out. Go, go out. Go out on Friday or Saturday evening. When did you go out? Oh, uh, yeah. You mean this one? When did you go um, out on Friday or Saturday evening? This one? Yeah. Okay, so how about here? Where do you go? Okay, where do you go? Uh, where did you go? Very good, because we are going to use a past simple. Okay, so this is, did you go out on Friday or Saturday evening? Where did you go? So you got one correct answer here. How about number three? Can you Did you see anyone on Sunday or Sunday who did? Okay, this is did you see? Did How you about? See? Okay, what's your yeah. answer in the second blank? And who? Who did? Who you, did you? Who Who's, who Continue, you are correct. Who did you? Who did you solve? Who did you see? Very uh, good. Did you see anyone on Saturday or Sunday? Who did you see? When you use uh, did, this is already past tense. So don't use past tense again. So is past tense. You can just use the present. Who did you see? Okay. How about number four, Mark? Uh, did you do any homework? Very good. Did you do any homework? When did you do? Great job. How about number five? Did you play computer games? Which which did you play with? Okay, very good. How about number six? Oh, which game? Did you do any sports? What did you do? Okay, what sports did you do? Great Four. job. So for this one, you got nine out of 10. That is a good score. So let's proceed with this one. I want you to write five sentences about a time when you had these feelings. You can use the past simple. Okay, you can use this Um this word here to write five sentences about the time when you had these feelings. For example, last night I was so anxious because my sister stole my clothes. My, I my, use my clothes without asking permission. Okay, so now I want you to write your own five sentences using these feelings. What would be your answer, Mark? Uh, okay, this is my example. Uh, Hello, Mark. Okay. I 
Anxious. Anxious. I was so anxious because my sister is close without asking permission. Um, hello, Mark. So, what is your answer? Anxious. Okay, what about confused? Can you please make a sentence for confused? Confused means you are undecided. You don't know what to do. Confused. Confused, confused, Do you have answer now for confused? Outside confused. Outside confused. Oh, confused. You can check the definition of last confused. Night, last night I did I did my homework, but I confused because I can't listen teacher very well. Very good. How about excited? Excited. Uh, I'm excited because I saw with me. What is the, what is it, Mark? Can you please say it again? Um, because I saw my favorite singer. I okay. I'm excited because I saw my. Uh, that's nice. Well, I'm excited because I saw my favorite thing. Very good. How about shocked? Okay, how about shock mark? Uh, Ah.
Um, football player. What is it? You can start. I was so shocked. I was so shocked because, uh, Uh, B. Mama, Bisai, the most one. Bisai. Bisai. You be sad. You be sad. I don't have to find you. Uh, I'm shocked because I saw Japan is winning next uh, as a football match. Football match. Oh, we yes. we had to win a football match. Oh, so, uh, I'm so scared because I saw Japan win win the saucer at last night. Okay, great. How about upset? Upset. That means you were so mad. Um, Um, I'm I'm angry because of my lessons upsets my daily life. Okay, very good. Great job, Mark. So now, oh, uh, with me. Um, what about cross? I want to challenge you. You use cross in a sentence. Cross. 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 Oh. Uh, on the car, my dad and my dad and me across the mountain. Across the mountain. Okay, great job. So that is cross anxious, confused, cross excited, shock, and upset. Okay, very good. So, do you know, oh, do you have any question to me before we end, Mark? No. Okay, so, since you don't have any question, we are done, okay? Since it's already time and you don't have a, any question, we are done with Unit 1B. So, tomorrow, we will proceed with Unit 1C, which is listening. Okay, so thank you so much for joining my class tonight, Mark. I hope to see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye, teacher.